my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for January 2018. I truly hope you guys spent this holiday surrounded by family and loved ones, those that matter the most to you. Um, and really prepare yourselves to set out the intentions for 2018. Uh, sending you guys love and light as always. So let's get into this reading. Let's see what Spirit has for Gemini's for the month of January 2018. I keep saying 2018. It's, it feels so weird. Is it, does this happen only, does this happen to you guys? Probably does. Where the beginning of the year is always like, you kind of stop and think like, wait, am I really in 2018? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Spirit, what are the messages for Gemini's? Gemini's. Gemini's. January 2018. Okay. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. My lovely Gemini's. Okay. Oh. Wow. Gemini's. Finally, you guys had a really tough year. <clears throat> Beautiful cards. Okay. Ooh. Okay. General energies, Geminis. You guys have the Emperor. As a general energy, the Emperor is definitely talking about structure, family, the family dynamic, and the household. Okay, give me one second. All right, Gemini's with the Emperor. I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, I feel that for the majority of Gemini's, 2017 was very difficult. And finally, you guys are starting to sense or feel more structure in your life in regards to either relationships or finances. For some of you guys, um, you're able to already start to notice the shift, already start to feel the change. And again, the Emperor is definitely talking about uh, structure more than anything um, in order for you to manifest or in order for you to bring forth the desires that you want there is a need to have structure okay now you guys are the communicators and I know that sometimes that's very difficult to do why because Gemini's are very quick you guys are very quick you guys are always communicating always you guys are not very structured people uh, not in a negative but in a beautiful way you guys are very carefree very spontaneous but uh, for 2018 I feel that structure finally starts to come in for you guys the beginning of the year okay so you have the chariot card here the chariot card is having victory over a situation or triumphing over a situation that was very difficult or stagnant for you guys for some of you guys again like I said could have been the fact that you guys were dealing with a lot of insecurities a lot of uh, uncertainties in regards to relationships you do have the three of pentacles so the three of pentacles definitely talks about having to make a choice or not a choice but having to deal with you know uh two people perhaps uh perhaps you were trying to move forward for some of you guys uh trying to move forward or deciding whether you wanted to continuously keep putting effort in the relationship or not and the chariot right next to the wheel of fortune uh, sorry the wheel of the year is a representation of the wheel has turned you're finally able to it's almost like spirit is guiding you through this process of understanding um whatever flaws we've had whatever we've done in the past and you're correcting it or wanting having the desire to actually want to correct your flaws in order to be able to be a better partner in order to be a better father better mother in order to be a better person more than anything and again the chariot next to the wheel of the year is definitely talking about success in regards to relationships you guys you guys have the sun card underneath for some of you guys you guys are currently pregnant or your partner's currently pregnant, maybe this has something to do with the fact that you're wanting structure now. Like the thought of you bringing another child into these, this earth is kind of shaking you uh, to the point of knowing and understanding that you have to have um, some type of structure because, again, it is necessary, you know, for you to be 
uh, a better father, a better mother to that child. Now, again, like I said, the chariot next to the wheel of the year and the sun card, blessings coming your way. Uh, for a lot of you guys, again, like I said, I feel that you guys have been struggling uh, the past four months and all of that's going to quickly start to change. You have the chariot and the wheel of the year at the first week. So again, uh, you guys are already feeling movement, already feeling positive um, feedback. You guys are getting uh, feedback either from people that you work with or colleagues. Um, income starts to increase. You do have the queen of swords here and I feel that uh, this is your energy, Gemini. And right under you is the queen, uh, sorry, the king of cups. So for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with the water sign. It could be um, a water sign would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. could be their moon or rising. But I feel that in regards to this, this could be your partner because this is your energy and under it is the justice card. Um, for others of you, it could be um, a person that is connected to your partner. Uh, could be a family or a relative um, that may be having uh, some type of legality issues. Now, if it's not your family, uh, your partner's family it could be perhaps on your side of the family as well it is a general reading um but there is definitely an ending cycle to something that has to do with legalities now you do have the king of swords here so you have two kings in this reading uh the kings are always an attribute of power masculine energy but it can also represent stubbornness um so again like i said take whatever lessons you have learned in the past and move forward try the best you can not to self-sabotage yourself there is a possibility of bringing balance into this marriage or into this unionship uh, with the person that you're with. But there is an ending here with the Ten of Swords. But I don't feel that it's an ending in relationship. I feel that it's an ending to the struggles in the relationship because you have the Five of Wands here and the Five of Wands in the center is an inner struggle. So this could be, in, it could represent different things. For some of you guys, it could have been that perhaps you guys uh, separated from your partner, the person that you were living with, the person that you're married with, um, because there is an inner struggle going on with you. And finally, when you're able to bring about that understanding or that wisdom um, in regards to the challenges you've been going through, uh, perhaps there were they were there for you. Perhaps they were guiding you. So for a lot of you guys, it could be that you start to go back to the person that you were with or that there was some type of separation involved. Uh, nonetheless, there is a marriage or a union here. And again, I feel that they were there for you in this struggle or in this inner struggle that was going on with you, Geminis. And that's the person that's being reflected as there is an ending to... Uh, not having the stability in the relationship and finally materializing uh, the commitment or finally you being able to be the one to commit to this person. If in the past it was you the one that was stepping out of the relationship, it could be that you're finally coming to the understanding that, you know what, this person has been through with me through difficult situations. They've been there for me. They've been guiding me. Uh, the best I can do or the least I can do is offer my loyalty to this person. Um, so again, there's a lot of um, fixing of relationships. Now for others of you, it could have been that you're currently or presently dealing with two different people. Uh, one could be a person that you've been with in a long-term committed relationship. For others, it could be that you recently stepped out of the relationship. Um, but the King of Swords is looking directly at the Justice card. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, all the karmatic cycles or difficulties that have been going on in your life have a lot to do based off of the decisions you've made. Uh, whether it's, you know, you the one that decided to uh, cheat on your partner or mistreat them or take them for granted. I do see a lot of... Um, patching up of relationships so for a lot of you guys it could be reconciliations um, but more than anything I feel that finally there's an ending to the struggles in regards to finances uh, and in regards to relationships okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading sending you guys light and love I hope that this resonated with you guys and again please know that intention is everything that's how we kick off the year the new year 2018 I hope and wish you guys the very best Talk to you guys the middle of the month. Bye.